So this is a tutorial I'm hoping will help a lot of people out because I know that it's a very common issue and it actually has a very simple fix. So, especially in the crafting and art communities, I think just about all of us have discovered at some point or another that we want a good deal and we see a pack of cheap brushes and we think, oh, how good, or I mean, how bad could they be, right? I mean, they look like they'd be decent. I mean, let, let's just buy them real cheap and then you get them home and everything seems great until you get them wet and you start painting with them and the bristles start to shed like a cat. So, you want to know how you fix it? I know a way to fix it, and it could save you a lot of money. I mean, obviously, if you have higher-end um, brushes, you won't experience this problem as much, but sometimes, just due to age, overuse, lack of proper care, sometimes it can happen to them, too. But, I mean, it just it's very common with cheap brushes. Now, if they're plastic-barreled all the way to the bristles, I can't help you, but if they have the metal ends on them like this, I can tell you one quick fix that will help you fix them. All you need is your cheap brushes and a pair of pliers. I used these flat nosed ones, but I mean, you can use, um, I guess you could use needle nose. I wouldn't personally recommend it because you're gonna have to work a lot harder with those, but flat, flat nosed ones will work well. And the full size, I don't know what exactly they're called, but you know, the big ones for bigger brushes, you know, like the fat barreled ones, the bigger normal size pliers would work great for those. But for these, these are fairly small, so these will work fine. So you just take your brush and along this end here, where you know that the bristles are held into it, just take your pliers and squeeze it down. Because by tightening this piece of metal right here, you are literally holding those bristles more tightly in place so they won't fall out like crazy when you start to use it. You might need to do this a few times, they might loosen up over time, you might have to repeat the process, but I mean, it's ultimately fairly easy to do. And when that's all there is you have to do, why wouldn't you do it? Just go across your brushes, just tighten those babies up. And obviously if there's like a few errant hairs on it, you can just trim like right here, I'd probably go in and trim that guy and maybe this guy with a pair of scissors. But the rest of them, I mean, they should stay perfectly in place once you've used this method. I mean, personally, I'm going tighter than some people might, but use your own discretion on how much pressure you think is appropriate. But I just want mine to really stay in place so I go harder than is probably necessary. Now, you may notice that I've been doing this with primarily flat bristled ones. That is only because I did my round brushes last night in testing this method out, but it works on them as well. You just have to be more careful with round bristled ones, since if you go too hard, you may flatten out the shape of the brush. So you can still use this method, just don't go quite as hard with them. Just enough to tighten it up, but not enough to flatten it out, you know? Um, actually, this I think is a round one. Yeah, this is round. I can show you with this. And it'll still hold its shape fairly well. Just go on the different sides a bit. Just don't go too hard. I had started to a little bit on accident with that one, but I fixed it. Because with the round ones, if you do mess it up, just turn it sideways and hit it a little bit, then tighten some more, and it should round back out and be okay. Yeah, that's all right. I'm just gonna do the rest of this handful since we're here anyway, might as well. I'm gonna get this guy here. And a boop. And this guy. And the last one is a bit of a challenge, which is why I kept it for last. So with a fan brush, you're going to notice that the tip of the base is rounded and you may need to go in at an angle to get at it. Just be very gentle on the bristles themselves. Um, you may need to flush them out a bit, fluff them out when you're done, but you want to make sure you get in towards the middle where the actual tip is. But if you do it wrong, you may notice that it changes the shape. So this one, it is a bit of a challenge, but it can be done. So, I mean, 
I think it's okay even with the little bit of... I messed up a little tiny bit there. I think I can fix it. I'm not going to sit you guys through that. But, I mean, ultimately, it'll stay quite a bit better than it initially did because this one was actually the worst offender in shedding I found just of this particular set of brushes that I had. Um, I'm actually trying to fix it right now while I talk. But, um, personally, it is fixable. You can absolutely get these to all stay down. And you can also use this method on makeup brushes, believe it or not. And I suppose any other brush that has a tip like this, you could probably use this method on them too if they are prone to shedding. So it's just a good technique to know and to have in your tip arsenal of things you can do to prolong the lifespans of your brushes of various sorts. So that is how you tighten up cheap brush bristles to where they should stay better. Yeah, this one, see, I bent it a little bit. I can fix that, though. So, I mean, let's see if I can do it on camera before we sign off on here. Should be able to fix that right up here. Do, 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 do. Just twist a little bit while you're pinching, and it should fix that. Eh, it may have been off-center to begin with, but yeah. And then to test the method out, just brush your, or um, not brush, clean your brushes as you normally would, and make sure you dry them upright, not bristle side down, because bristle side down will destroy your brushes. So just be careful with that. But um, as long as you do that, and then try using them as you normally would again, you will probably most likely find that your bristles actually stay in the brushes now, which they very much did not do before when they're really El Cheapo brushes. So anyway, I thought I would pass along this tip since I found it to be absolutely a game changer for me and for my cheaper end brushes that I own. So anyway, just that I'd share with you guys and hopefully it helps some of you out since I know that many of us are tight on cash and can't afford the high-end stuff. So until we can save up for those, you can absolutely use cheaper brushes without having to worry about those horrible loose hairs falling off in the paint.